Here's something a bit different. This is some selenite crystals that I found on the beach while I was out looking for fossils. And it's still got a lot of siltstone stuck onto it. I'm going to see if I can somehow clean it up. I've got an air scribe over here I'm going to try. And then also some micro air abrasion. You can see there's definitely some, some beautiful crystals in there around about here. Here, let's see if we can clean up this section over here. Expose some more. Well, it's actually come out pretty well. You can see the structure so nicely now. Look at all these shiny, shiny bits over there. So from a quick read on Google, selenite is the crystal form of gypsum. And I'm pretty sure I used to find um, gypsum in the Namibian desert. They call them desert roses there. And I found quite a few there near Luderitz where there was also some agates. It's actually a place called Agate Bay. Yeah, that's come out really well for my first crystal prep. There's still a little bit of mudstone over there. But you can see the structure so much better than before. It kind of looks like it started growing there and then expanded out. Well, let's see what it looks like under UV. We'll just go switch off the lights. This is a 365 nanometer UV torch. Oh yeah, we've got some got some glowing over there. Yeah, it's definitely glowing. Look over there on that side. Hopefully it's focusing. I'm not sure if it will focus. But yeah, it's definitely glowing like a a greenish yeah, greenish color. Yeah, even on that side. Very cool. I am happy with that. <laughs> I've always wondered what they look like after a bit of air abrasion. Well, this is the, the aftermath of a bit of air abrasion. You can see there's dust everywhere over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
sweep that up and then sift it back down again and then I can reuse it. There's literally dust everywhere. <laughs> clean it up as much as I'm going to, I'm just going to go out and sift this quickly and then I can reuse it. It's quite a simple process. So I've got two sieves here. This one is a 100 micron mesh, this one's 75 microns. So I'm going to catch everything between 75 and 100 microns. This one's just to catch the really big pieces. Just going to pop it in there. It's only at 50 degrees Celsius, so an hour or so should dry it out nicely. Well, it should be dry now. Let's give it a bit of time to cool down before I burn my hand. It's only 50 degrees, so I don't think it'd be too hot. Beautiful. Yeah, that's nice and dry, ready to go back into the probe last. Well, that's how much dolomite I got back from that, that amount you saw before. I think when the dolomite actually hits the fossil, it breaks down into smaller bits, so we don't get the same amount back, because it's broken up into smaller bits. Just make sure that there's no pressure in the line when you try and open this. <laughs> want to get yourself a Vaniman Pro Blast over there. They're made in the USA so they're quite cheap to ship over there. They're a bit more expensive to ship to Australia and New Zealand but there are agents for them and they've given me a code. So I've been using them for ages and when they heard I was using them they gave me a code. So you can use Bam Lambo Fossils and I think you get 10% off even from the Australian agents. Some exciting news, one of my fossils might be published in the next two or three months. It's been accepted for publishing and they've gone through the first round of uh, changes by the person doing the review. And this is a little bit of a window into the process for me, so it's been really fascinating. But hopefully I can share that in about two or three months. You'll have to wait and see which fossil it is. It's a really good one. Uh, stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.